Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics license and the first question in a hard Weinberg population with two alleles, dominant and recessive, that are in equilibrium, the frequency of the allele which is recessive 0.3, what is the frequency of the individuals that are homozygous for this allele? Imagine that this cloud represents a gene pool and in this gene pool we have two alleles, allele which is dominant and recessive. And we know that frequency of the recessive allele is 0.3 or 30%. That means that frequency of the dominant allele, because only two allele in the gene pool, is 0.7. So together they make 100%. Now the question, what is the probability that if we randomly choose one allele, it's going to be recessive allele A. Frequency of this allele in a gene pool directly correlates with probability and probability is going to be 0.3. And what is the probability that second time we also choose recessive allele A. And again the probability is going to be the same 0.3. So what is the probability of this genotype in this population? We just have to multiply these two independent probabilities for each allele. And the answer is going to be 0.09. So our answer for the first question is going to be answer C. And by the way, do you know the frequency of the heterozygous genotype, which is capital A and small a? And some of you may say that frequency is going to be 0.7 times 0.3. And this is going to be 0. 0.21. But this is not true. Actually, there are two variants possible. That first allele is going to be dominant and second recessive, but also we can get heterozygous genotype when first allele is going to be recessive and second is going to be dominant. So two variants and both of them are heterozygous. So we have to multiply our answer by two. And in this case, the frequency of the heterozygous genotype is going to be 0.42. So you have to remember that in order to find frequency of the heterozygous genotype, we have to multiply frequency of the dominant allele by frequency of the recessive allele and multiply by two, because two variants are possible. And the second question, over time, the movement of people on Earth has steadily increased this has altered the course of human evolution by increasing and you have to choose one of these answers. Let me start with the end of this list, variant D, genetic drift, and here is going to be an example of the genetic drift. Very simple picture that very clearly demonstrate what is the genetic drift is. For example, we start with a population of bugs of two phenotypes and 50% of them of the blue phenotype and 50% of them of the red phenotype. So ratio is 5 to 5. And due to some random event, now we have a different frequency of these phenotypes. For example, most of the blues were killed. And now we have a new ratio of the phenotypes. And usually this is gradual process which is due to different fitness of phenotypes. So as you see, this is not our case. And now let's check variant C, non-random mating. Actually, when people were living settled life and was not moved around the globe, they were a product of non-random mating because they were living in small communities like villages and such mating would be considered non random because they only can mate uh, with someone who lives next to them uh, geographically. So as you see movement of people or migration lead to random mating and not non-random. So let's check variant B, geographic isolation. Geographic isolation we sometimes can see when people move, for example, people move from Africa to Australia and we were geographically isolated there. But this is just one example. Usually when people migrate, as a result, people usually mix and 
not isolate. Now, as you see, the only one answer left A, gene flow, and I also want to demonstrate gene flow with another picture because I know that many students mistake gene flow and genetic drift. So now we see example of genetic drift and here's example of the gene flow. Gene flow when we have two populations which are genetically different and due to migration, now we see that one of the population became genetically diverse due to migration. One more time. This happened due to migration and genetic drift, usually a gradual process when frequencies of the alleles in the population change due to different fitness of the different phenotypes. As you see, our choice is variant A, migration increase gene flow in populations. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.